If you've spent one minute on gaming Twitter, you've probably seen some folks call a Steam Deck the Switch Killer. It's a handheld with a similar form factor, a massive library of games, and the endless possibilities of a PC on top of that. It even supports HDMI through its USB-C port, so you can dock it too. In many gamers' eyes, it seems like the deck can do everything the Switch does, but better. But that, my friends, is incredibly wrong. I'm Indy, and today I'm going to show you how wrong docking your Steam Deck could go. But I'm also going to show you how to fix it and how to get the best console experience out of your chunky little handheld. Before we get started, I want to say hey! It would be really cool if you subscribe or maybe check out my Twitch channel. Your support means I can make more cool content like this, so I really appreciate it. Recently my friends at Pop Agenda hooked me up with bug snacks for both Steam and Switch so I could compare the performance of the two. But the rabbit hole I had to go down to get some Steam Deck footage led to this video instead. But hey, let me know in the comments if you still want that comparison video. The results might end up surprising you. When making a comparison video, it's way better to have footage of the gameplay and not the device itself. So I grabbed a cheap USB-C to HDMI hub so I could capture some gameplay on the deck. I plugged it in and I booted up Bug Snacks. Now I knew something was off when the video signal was letterboxed to all heck, but I figured it was just a result of the Steam Deck's resolution. But once the gameplay started, I found black bars were the least of my problems. Input lag, a choppy frame rate, and wildly long load times made this game impossible to play. Was this game really verified on deck? There was no way I could play this. I unplugged my hub and restarted Bug Snacks, and the difference was night and day. Graphics were crisp, the frame rate was smooth as a butter, the input lag was nowhere to be found, and ooh, those load times were gone. What happened? Was my HDMI cable broken? Was the cheap USB hub a waste of money? Is the Steam Deck just horrible when docked? No, no, and not really. Turns out, I have a 4K monitor, and while I assumed that like the Switch, the Steam Deck would also output a 720p signal and the monitor would just blow it up, I was very incorrect. The Steam Deck was trying to output this at 4K, and it was struggling to output video over eight times the size of its usual display, which explains the massive drop in performance from handheld to docked. As of right now, SteamOS doesn't support changing resolution when docked, so if you're like me and have a 4K monitor that you want to game on, I hope you like having a slideshow of your frame rate. However, if you're up to do a little tinkering to get your games working with your deck docked, there is a workaround. First, you'll need to boot into desktop mode. Once you're there, Plug in your dock and go to display settings. I recommend setting it so that your external monitor is the only one enabled, and set it to 720p, but most games should run at 1080 without issue. Once your monitor resolution is set, you're good to go. You can now run your games docked without any issue, but only while in desktop mode. If you want to switch back to SteamOS, call your frame rate a frat boy because it's gonna chug, 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 chug. I hope this helped make your Steam Deck experience a little bit better. While the deck is a powerful device, Nintendo has it beat on the pure convenience of things working without any tinkering. If you've got a deck, what's the first game you're going to play when you dock it? And if you're waiting on a deck, when are you going to get yours? And if you don't have a deck and you're not planning on getting one, why did you watch this whole video? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Twitch and in the next video. Bye! Oh my, oh my goodness! Look at you! Oh, oh, you little man, little baby man.